Okay, we're here. I guess we just build it right down here. Ooh, this thing is big. Run away! We gotta watch it though. Hopefully we're not too close. Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are poised to hit 5 TTI. Uh, we are currently uh, at 97.12% of the way there. Uh, most likely will happen in this episode. Um, I'm still trying to find the remaining three keys, Warden's keys. I have a total of seven. And I don't really have anything specific planned um, for this episode other than looking for the those final three keys and waiting for us to get to five TTI. So, um, yeah, that's climbing pretty quick. I don't think we really need to do anything more to boost it along. It's going to happen very soon. Um, and then once it does, we will build the... The rocket launcher thingamadoodle, this thing here, extraction platform, and see what that's all about. So, um, I think what I'm going to do then is I'm just going to keep flying around and see if I can find the rest of those keys. I've been to every biome, I believe, looking for them. You know, I haven't actually gone back into the here let me grab these and these so we can make more of those i haven't actually been back into the warden areas uh i don't wait did we go back in there in the last episode actually looking for those i don't remember now i'm confused because uh, we also went in there uh, the last time I played multiplayer a couple weekends ago, too. Yeah, no, I don't think we have. I don't think we've been back there. So <clears throat> maybe that's what I'll do is uh, take a peek in the warden areas. Um, I, I kind of think they're not going to be in there. But I mean, I don't, ha I don't know that for sure. I could be completely wrong about that. And just... You know, kind of fly around and see where, you know, where else they may be. Uh, one of you guys gave me a, a tip that, you know, not to just go around the perimeter of the biomes, but kind of go through the middle, which I sort of did, but not, I, I can't say that I did it real thoroughly, of course, uh, which seems to suggest that, you know, I bypassed a, a couple of them, uh, which of course isn't surprising. So, yeah, um, let's go ahead and eat one of those now and... We'll take a water so we're topped off. And I don't think... What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the camera um, until I find another key and or until we get to uh, 5 TTI. Um, so I will see you guys either when we find another key or when we hit 5 TTI. There we go. We found another one. This is up in the... Iceland's area, well, formerly known as Iceland's area, not too far, in fact, from where we started the game. That's where we started the game, over there, started this series. Okay, two more to go. Well, that's interesting. 
Open Access Console. Uh, does that go in there? Nope, that doesn't. Huh. Okay. Not sure what the deal is with that. Dang. 5,000 terror tokens. Nice. A golden effigy. 500 tokens. Production multiplier fuse. I think I'll just take that. Hey, there we go. We hit 500 TTI. Look at us and our bad selves. All right. Let's start working our way back then to the base. That takes one thingamadoodle. Um, fusion energy cell. Okay. We'll put that in since we have one on us. And that opens up this safe. Genetic trait. Magnetar and a T4 mutagen. That's kind of lame. This looks very similar to the last procedural wreck ship that we did. 100 Terra tokens, a Jumi frog egg. Okay. Take that. Take the two quasars. Guess we'll take the Oz. Oh, and we'll take this too. Okay, there's the access card. Ooh, big safe room. Okay. Oh, we already have a Turio spacesuit. 500 tokens. A fireplace. Oh, nice. A trade rocket multiplier fuse. Oh, neat. That is that new? I didn't even know that thing existed. Take this. We already got that spacesuit. I'm gonna take the rest of that. We can't put the iron in there though. Hey, there we go. Boy, that was just right behind our food farm too. One more to go and then we'll have 10. Let's go back to the main base. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this stuff off. And then I might go look, go look in just a little bit more. Let's see if we can find that final key because we might, we might need it. I don't know if we will or not. I think it kind of depends upon what, all I know is that we're going to have some choices to make. I don't know what those choices are. Uh, but I think one of the choices may involve those keys. Just kind of, you know, from some hints and stuff that you guys have dropped. So, oh, let's, uh, let's go here and do the fireplace. That's cool. Oh, we got to put that in our house. Explosive powder, tree bark, and iron. The Jumi frog eggs can't don't, can't we make like a color trait with those? I think we'll put the trade rocket multiplier fuse in there, at least for the moment. Let's run over to our home and put the fireplace down first. Okay, what? Uh, let's go here for a minute. I'm going to take the birthday cake back off because it doesn't kind of doesn't fit. You know, which one of these things is not like the other kind of thing. <laughs> little Sesame Street there for y'all. I like that. That's cool. Uh, all right. Where the hell are we going to put this fireplace? All right. Here's what I'm going to do. 
Let's take the auto crafter down. We'll put it right there. Now what we're going to do is take all of that down. We're going to build the fireplace. We're going to put it right here. I like that. That's cool. Very cool. Or hot, depending upon how you look at it. Nice. All right. And then we'll put the desk here. You know what actually might look better is because we have a little more room in this corner here. We'll put the auto crafter there. Okay, good. Yeah, that's nifty looking. I like it. Even makes a little bit of a fire sound. How about that? All right, now let's go over to the food farm. And where's my machines? We'll put those in there. Wait a minute. Oh, shoot. We can't use Jimmy eggs. Okay, never mind. Colorful. Oh, it keeps climbing even after 5 TTI. How about that? Infinity and beyond. Nice. Uh, all right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go, I'm going to spend a little bit more time trying to find that last key. And so I will either bring you back when I find it or when I give up and come back and we, and we make the extraction platform. I don't know if I have to make this and then activate it before we get the end the game choices or if it happens as soon as we make it or what. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to spend just a little more time looking for that final key. Oh, I thought I could have sworn I've, I flew by here before. I mean, it's like right in the middle of the waterfall by them. How in the hell did I miss that? I don't know. I don't know. Don't know what to tell you. Okay, well, we got it. Let's go back. Okay, so let's put uh, the final key in there. And now we have a total of six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. What do we need to make this extraction launch platform thingy? All of that stuff. All right, so we already got the fusion core. Uh, we need an energy multiplier fuse, a rocket. We need a uranium rod, an iridium rod, a super rod, a pulsar, a solar, and a blazar crystal. There we go. All right. Let's put this right out here. Okay. Why can't I put this down? Got all the stuff for it. Go. I guess I was holding it too high up in the air or something. Look at that. Oh, it's got the yeah, it's got the little pot on the top that we landed in. Very cool. Oh, that looks neat. Open extraction platform. All right, what does this have to say? Error, high interference levels detected. Please destroy interference source to be able to receive extraction. 
The anomaly is in uh, those coordinates. I'm going to write those down because I don't know if the game records it automatically or not. This is it. Okay. So if this is the source of interference, how, how do we interact with it? I can't do anything with it. Do I do this? Nope, that doesn't work. Hmm. All right, guys, we're back at the main base. Um, It says we have to destroy that thing. And it's probably no coincidence that we have this large explosive device that was unlocked. Um, so my guess is that's what we need to use. So we're going to do that. We need three uranium, or sorry, iridium rods, one uranium rod, a circuit board, a fusion core, uh, we'll probably have to go grab one of those from our fusion core facility and three explosive powder. Grab one out of the rocket here. And that gives us everything. Okay. Let's head back over there. Okay. We're here. I guess we just build it right down here. Ooh, this thing is big. Run away! We gotta watch it though. Hopefully we're not too close. Is it going to destroy? Be destroyed? Oh, what the hell's going on here? Oh! Okay. I guess we have to assume it was destroyed. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's go back to the extraction platform and see what it says. All right, leave the planet, place your fate in the hands of Sentinel Corp. Ooh. Check that out. Congratulations, you have successfully terraformed this planet. And it's raining, which is actually a good thing. We will now re-examine your sentence based upon the various deviations from the rules that could be attributed to you. Okay. For the moment, you will remain in detention while your case is examined. Sentinel Corp. What the hell? Oh, we never looked at the message. That's it? That's it? I thought we had choices. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> uh. <coughs> oh. 
Why am I back at the Stargate? Uh. All right, let's go back and read the message. I, I completely forgot about the message. Maybe I was supposed to read that first. Yeah, we got a bunch of messages here. Oh, except for no, we've uh, we've read all of these, it, well, except for this one. Message from. Today was the inauguration of the space warp gate. It took two years to build and was was to finally allow us to easily cross the Azishal Prime sector. But as soon as we turned on the main power reactor, everything went wrong. The power immediately went down. All the reactors and stabilizers broke within a few minutes, and the spaceship was inexplicably drawn to the closest planet. We have tried everything to fix it, but it seems there is nothing we can do. The whole crew escaped into the skate pods, and I sent a distress signal. I'm going to my pod now, too. What a waste. All these months of work will be lost. I can't understand what happened. This shouldn't have happened. Hmm, we didn't even know who that came from. A message from a warden. Yeah, I... We've already read that. I don't know why... Uh, well, maybe I read that in my first playthrough. After all, you try to go home as far as stay hidden. Yeah, we've read all that stuff too. Okay, so... Yeah, these are... We've already read all these. We just haven't... I haven't read the letter from here, but we read it out in the field. Okay, here's a message from... What was supposed to be a fun, relaxing time turned into a nightmare. A five-week space cruise across the lesser-known parts of the universe. Unfortunately, our stupid crew was not able to respond. Yeah, we've read that before, too. Okay. So, what was the... This must be the final message. Okay. Planet Crafter. Congratulations. Our sensors indicate you have successfully terraformed your assigned planet. However, our monitoring indicates that your planet has an anomaly that prevents us from colonizing it. You must destroy the anomaly before using the departure platform so our ships can extract you. Please receive the rest before an explosion. Okay, no, we already did that too. So I guess I didn't actually need to read that first. Hmm. So, okay. I was under the impression... That we were supposed to have choices at the end of the game. A. And B. Why did I bother collecting all of those warden keys? What's the purpose of these? It, this strange device seems to be used to open a mechanism. What mechanism? Hmm. And what is this for? I feel like I'm missing something. Do, do we put the warden keys in there? I don't think so because it, the keys say we need them to open a mechanism. I mean, you know, keys, right? I don't know what we're supposed to put in there. Okay. What happens if we do this again? Oh! Leave the planet. Trust that some wardens are still alive and will accept- Oh! Okay, so there's two choices. So when I reloaded the game, why did it throw me up down at the Stargate? I guess... Maybe that's the game's way of letting you s choose a different path? Because if I do this again... Is it just going to do this? It's probably just going to do the same thing. All right. Well, we already did that. So we saw what happens there. Let's do this and see what happens.
Ooh! We're going through a portal. To those who follow us, know that our destiny is that of doom. But some of us still believe that giving up is not an option. We will see what Providence has in store for us. A warden. So there's the big stargate above our base over there. Oh, okay. I guess that's it. Okay, I got gotcha. you. It, 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 I had to kind of go a little bit of a roundabout way to get there, but. <laughs> um. So if I load again, is it just going to start me back at the Stargate? Oh, no, it starts me back here. Really? Okay. So I guess that just means keep on playing if you want to, but the game's over. <laughs> All right. I got gotcha. you. I'm picking up what you're putting down. All right, you guys. Well, I think that's it. I think that's going to wrap up our playthrough of the Planet Crafter. I have thoroughly enjoyed this game, I have to say. Um, I started playing it. Some of you, you know, have probably been watching this, you know, my season one and season two all along. And if you if you have been, thank you. I appreciate that. You guys rock. Um, but, you know, for those of you who don't know, I started this series, oh, maybe two to three weeks before they released 1.0, not even knowing that they were going to release 1.0. Um, so I kind of rushed to what was the end of the game at that time. And then we started over again, you know, once one uh, Dotto dropped. And then that's, of course, been this whole entire series that we've done here. And uh, I have to say, this game is is just amazing. It, it's uh, so much fun. And, you know, it's it's nice and refreshing to, to play a, a game for a change that's, you know, doesn't involve violence and killing. I mean, there's natural violence, of course, in the game, but, um, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I, I like to shoot the bad, shoot bad guys as much as anybody else, but I'm just saying that it's cool to see that a game can be made that, um, you know, that you can thoroughly enjoy and that can be really good and a really good experience that doesn't involve, well, violence and killing. So, um, and, uh. Yeah, it's just, it, it was just a joy to play, and it was so much fun, you know, watching the, the planet terraform, you know, from a barren wasteland, pretty much, into this absolutely gorgeous place. And, um, you know, all of the, you know, the one thing I'll say about this game, if, if you're on the fence about playing it, what, one of the best things that it has going for it, aside from the terraformation itself, which is pretty cool, um, you know, in and of itself, is it, there's so much end game content, so much to do even after you have more or less terraformed the planet. Um, so it's not just about, you know, get the planet terraformed, then, then it's pretty much game over. And that's what one of the things that really impressed me about this game. One of my uh, favorite, absolute favorite moments in this game was actually in season one, the first time I played it, when I discovered that there was indeed an ocean uh, that formed, because I did not know that that was going to happen, and I was, I was say, I even had made a comment at one point that it'd be really cool if 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 this you know if we actually formed an ocean, and sure enough, that's exactly what happened. And I did not know, honest to God, you know, did not know that that was going to happen. So when I discovered it, it was just really cool. You know, it was one of those real kind of special moments, I guess. Um, so yeah, this game is, it's just amazing. Um, can't recommend it enough. And I will, you know, uh, there's a, there's a pretty good chance that I'll, I'll come back to it and maybe do another season in the future after they, you know, add some more content to it and stuff. Um, I am going to take a break from it cause I have been playing it nonstop for several months now, uh, between the first, you know, first season one and season two. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll come back to it in the future and enjoy it again, uh, with even some more content, but, uh, 
bravo, Mishu Games, bravo. You guys just knocked this one out of the park for sure. All right, everybody, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and this entire series. Um, and hopefully we'll see you in the future here in the Planet Crafter for some more adventures. Take care.